Our guest today is the 2022 Rookie of the Year, the guy who won the last three future races in the FIA F3 Championship and who joined the F2 calling squad for this season. I'm talking about Saint Maloney, a boy from Barbados who is absolutely breaking all the stats in these last years, so let's know a little bit more about him. So Saint Maloney, the boy from Barbados, a country with not a big racing tradition. So how did your passion for motorsport begin? Yeah, so uh, of course I'm from Barbados, uh, which is a very small island, and um, not much motorsport used to happen when I was when I was young. Uh, my entire family raced cars, uh, so I got into motorsport quite early from three years old um almost i could walk and i was uh, in a go-kart so i've loved uh racing from the time i was born and um i just got the opportunity to to carry it further and uh that's what i'm trying i'm trying to to go home and and really get the children to who love racing to to see a dream and see formula one as as the end goal because that's what i did and and i've been able to to continue the journey let's say um but yeah it's uh i'm from barbados and it's very warm very warm in barbados uh nice to always go home and um continue to to spread the my country around the world let's say after a difficult start in formula 3 last year you ended the championship with three feature race wins in a row and p2 in the standings so what happened like what changed in your approach to the races uh, I've said it quite often. Uh, I think I just became more calm in certain situations, and uh, the pace w was there from the beginning. We qualified in pole on pole in the second round of the season, so I never got any quicker. Maybe a little bit, but not much. Um, but I was just not focused on winning so much. More focused on on getting the position that I can in that race. Uh, once I stopped focusing on winning, uh, then I started winning. So that was. Uh, really all i did and um i've continued to to work on that and uh just staying calm and and not really being too eager and um i do feel that i've carried that into into my mindset now and uh, into next this year you're now part of the red bull junior team so does this condition put more pressure on your shoulders or is it an extra motivation for you this year of course, it's an amazing opportunity to to get from Red Bull uh, to be in the junior team and, and a reserve driver this year. Um, I don't see it as any extra pressure. Of course, they have expectations, uh, but I I believe that those expectations are the same as as mine in myself. So um, it it doesn't add any other extra pressure. Of course, I want to do good, but I want to do good for Red Bull. I want to do good for Carlin. I want to do good for myself. So it doesn't change who it is um i want to do the job the best job that i can and um red bull are having the uh, putting their trust in me and I, I really appreciate it um now it's time to to show that pace on track what do you think is the most complicated aspect of the transition from f3 to f2 and what do you think about working with such a team as carlin uh to be honest, the, there's not much different. Of course, the cars are different. Um, in terms of one thing, is I couldn't really tell you what's the biggest step. Um, it's more a different car that you need to get used to. You need to get up to speed really quickly because we don't get much testing. That's it for testing until until later on in the season. Um, and then everyone that's in F2 is uh, either the same or more experienced than you. So they... They're all refined. They've refined their driving. They've refined their how they need to prep for a weekend. And obviously in F4, they're the same drivers that they're in F2 now. But when you're in F4, you're at the beginning of your career, whereas F2, they're ready to get into F1. Um, so they will consistently get the results. And, and that's what you need to do. And uh, 
of course, is I'm treating it the same same as F3, which I did in every year I've done in racing. Okay, so you're a rookie this year, but you have proven in previous championships that this is not a weakness for you. So come on, be bold. What's your goal for this year? Well, what's quite funny is I've never done more than one year in any championship in my life. Um, so even through karting, I never did more than one year and through my car career so far. So uh, maybe one or two wrong decisions with which championships I'm doing, but uh, I've never done more than one year. So I'm used to being a rookie. Um, of course, I want to win the championship. <laughs> that's my goal. That's my target. And I think that's a realistic one as well. Um, but to do that, we need to we need to do the job in every weekend. We need to be consistent. So I'm more focused on on the weekends and um, getting the results each weekend. If it's a P4, then take the P4. Don't try to go for P3 and and then finish nowhere. So uh, that's the main thing. Um, but of course, like every driver on the grid, I, I want to win the championship. Um, and Carlin want to win the championship. So uh, yeah, it's now time to just try to get it done. Um, and to do that, we need to put in the work. <clears throat> Okay, now moving to a bit more funny question. Um, if you could meet any motorsport personality in history and you had to prepare a dinner for them, who would you choose and what would you cook? <laughs> um, now we will see if you're a rookie in the kitchen too. That's, yeah, that's a tough question because of course, you, do you want to be laughing a lot or do you want to learn? So you learn a lot. Uh, if I want to learn a lot, I, I'll call Lewis and uh, prepare a dinner, um, a Caribbean dinner for him in Barbados, um, and then try to take some advice from him. Uh, of course, if I want funny, to be honest, you you choose someone like a uh, James Hunt. Um, it would just be I don't know a, a bar down the road and uh, and laugh a lot. Okay, so thank you very much, Sain, for this time. I know you have very busy schedules, so it's been a pleasure to talk with you for this little period of time, and I hope to talk again with you in the future and wish you best of luck for this season. So, Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. Nice. For the rest of you watching this interview, remember to like the video if you enjoy the content, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, because we're going to upload a lot of of content a lot of interviews in the channel see you in the next video and don't go anywhere because here i show you a little advance of what's coming soon in the page <laughs> i don't know uh azerbaijan imola uh, bahrain Yasmarina, dubai um spa austria uh Hungaroring. um Pebble, Yulan's Lang, um, uh, Red Bull Ring, Long Beach, Laguna Seca, um, Paul Ricard, Hungary, Thumbord, Hockenheim, and the Beber.